Good morning. I really don't know how to start this video out because this is really kind of like what my day really starts out with. Me walking. Mama Freak on TV again! This ain't like New York or any other place where you can just walk to the bus station. Nah, that's not happening. Now walking to the bus station. You walking to 7-Eleven to buy an Uber card. I'm headed to Austin and I'm having to walk to where I'm going with all my bags. You can call it pride or whatever you want. I don't care. But I'm really recording this for myself. Because one day I'm not going to be doing this shit. And I said it just like that because the shit has to stop. It's cold. All these damn cars passing me and shit. I'm not saying I'm like better than anybody or deserve better. But sometimes I work my fingers to the point to where they like don't want to work no more. My mind and brain hurt a lot of the damn times for trying to do some of the things that I do. And you know what? My black ass is still walking. Still walking and running. Everybody wants you to always be super positive and say everything is going to be okay and everything is going to be great. And that's cool. I'm not knocking it because the truth is, that is the truth. Eventually, things will get better. But this video is not only for me, but it's for all you people that think that it just happens. It don't. There is nothing in this world that will ever be handed to you. Nothing. Not a dime, not a penny, not a nickel. So, what I'm saying is, is that it's going to be definitely cold mornings where you feel like it's not worth it. But if I don't do this, I'm not going to eat. If I don't do this, I won't be able to pay rent. If I don't do this, most importantly, if I don't, I won't be pursuing my passion. And that's what's important. Yeah, eating is necessary. Having transportation of your own is necessary in most, in, in most cases, especially out here. But I'll walk through the cold so I can do what I want. I know, sir. That, that was my old car. Oh, your own car? Yes, ma'am. And also, you'll have to spend your last to do anything. I'm spending my last 15 bucks so that I can get to where I'm trying to go. Uber. Nonetheless, you do whatever you have to do to get your job done. And sometimes, it's walking in the cold, riding an Uber, and then driving to Austin. Well, riding to Austin. If I can get on my junk in your car. Whew. How are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. Ready? Yes, sir. This is what it takes. We understand, and that's why. Because in a day later, things are still just going to be just as hard as it was the day before. Situations don't change overnight, people. And I'm saying a day later because this is a completely different day. Not the same day. But I will tell you it's 428 in the morning. And I'm going to shoot with this guy again. I'm going to shoot with this guy again.
were set up, don't you say what you just said? And now we're going to go record. So you'll probably see us when the sun is all bright and out and sunny. Later. See, told you. Now we're on our way to the next location, which is the interview part of today. And like I said, we we'll see you when it was bright outside. Um, yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. And now, we're going to get what we've come to always, always eat every time we go out of town. Subway. Jared would be proud. <laughs> Without being super cryptic and having to talk over the music, you know, just for that, I'm gonna sing all the way home, even if I don't know the words of the song. Okay. No, he said it was K. Okay. He's already threatening to kick me out. But without being super like cryptic, we came down to Austin. We shot in Austin, and we're finished shooting. So now we're heading back to Dallas. Well. Alan and Saxony. Well, Alan and, yeah, Alan and Saxony. And that's it. Hope y'all enjoy the ride. It's interesting stuff, man. It is. I think earth shattering and really interesting. Right. Because I'm just that good to look at. <laughs> the scary part is you believe that. <laughs> So yeah, you saw the beginning and the end. And I feel like a lot of times, man, like, and I'm going right at the top of my head with this, a lot of times vloggers leave out the shit that happens that isn't all that great. And I feel like sometimes we put shine on shit and sometimes it doesn't always smell so great, man. But all in all, 
Wednesday and Thursday, which is actually today, ended up being some pretty good day for vlogging and content. And I honestly like not trying to one ask for any pity because I don't want your pity. That's not what I'm doing this for. I'm not doing this so I can make you feel sorry for me because I don't. Two, I'm also doing this to show like, man, look, th there's a lot of hard work, uh, a lot of sacrifice that goes into actually making sure that I can continue to do what I enjoy doing for a living and not have to do any other work outside of working with this thing and my laptop and using my creativity in my mind. And then three, I don't know, it just really just, I feel like that was necessary. So yeah, as cool as this may be, the truth is everything is hard to some, to some extent. So yeah, like it or love it, don't like it, don't love it, whatever you want. I made it home safe and it all started with an Uber ride. Well, I'll start with these.